Thomas felt sorry for Harvey. Don't worry. Sometimes it takes time to make new friends. But Harvey wasn't sure he wanted to stay where no one wanted him. The next morning, Sir Topham Hatt sent the engines off to a useful day's work. Maybe my coming here wasn't such a good idea, sir, Harvey chuffed sadly. Nonsense, said Sir Topham Hatt. But the engines don't like me. I'm too different. Different is what makes you special. And that made Harvey feel better. Out on the branch line, Percy was having trouble with the trucks. Faster we go, faster we go, pull them along, don't let them slow. Help! cried Percy. His driver applied the brakes. But it was too late. He went off the rails at Bulgy's Bridge. Luckily, no one was hurt. Bertie arrived and was pleased Percy was all right, but he was also very cross. You've blocked the road, Bertie snapped. He was worried he wouldn't get the gentleman of the railway board to the demonstration on time. When Sir Topham Hatt heard the news, he went straight to Harvey. I need you to rescue one of my engines. I'll do my best, sir, Harvey said bravely, and he set off immediately. Harvey soon arrived and went to work. In no time, Percy was back on the tracks. The gentlemen of the railway board were very impressed. That was the best demonstration of all. The gentlemen of the railway board have decided you shall join the railway. Oh, thank you, sir, said Harvey proudly. 